Today's home is a quick move in in a brand new community here in Winter Garden. Fantastic opportunity. Call me. I've got the inside scoop, but enjoy the video tour. Stay tuned. everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we have a home that is a quick move in. If you are looking for a home here in the heart of the Winter Garden area, you don't have time to build, but you would love to be here in time for the holidays, maybe this Wakaiva inventory home is going to work for you. So we are located in a brand new MI Homes community here in Winter Garden, Florida, minutes from Disney World, minutes from everything that is fun and super exciting. This home is completed and ready for you. This is one of their bungalows below floor plans, meaning that the garage entry is in the back. So it is a two-story home, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 2,780 square feet, I'm pretty sure. All right, guys, so we're gonna take a look at this home for the layout and the flow, as well as the design options, because this exact home that I'm standing in is the one that could be your new home. So the first thing is, let's take a look at the floor. So they have a really great, cozy kind of a brown that's a very warm color scheme here. Um, sometimes we go with either the, the mod Moderns, the crisp, the whites and the grays, or you get the really earthy and, and warm tones of the browns. And that's what we have here. So have a beautiful extended plank flooring all the way throughout. And you have wood stairs and we'll take a look upstairs as well. Now, one of the things that I like about this is right over here. So in this particular floor plan, you have a bedroom here on the first floor. This bedroom has its own private bathroom. You know, a lot of people that live in this area, it is not zoned short-term rental. So this is not something that can be rented out on a short-term basis, but most of my clients don't want that. They want their own private second home or their own private vacation home, or maybe it's their full-time um, primary residence. But this is a really great, like, great location and proximity to everything that you're going to want and need. Bedroom right here on the first floor with this really cozy alcove. I love that. All right, so the main living area, you're going to have um, you're gonna whoop, whoop, whoop. you're gonna have a, a family room area right here. You're also gonna have a dining area as well as a kitchen. So there's a lot of space here in this actual floor plan in this layout. You have the stairs that are gonna go up over here, but a ton of space right here for your sofa, for your love seat, for your TV, for all of that stuff. Over here, you're also gonna have your dining area. You can see by the lighting fixture above, this is kind of designated for your informal day-to-day -day dining. But don't worry, you need more seating, go right over here to your island. This is a gorgeous countertop, by the way. I love this, this is beautiful. These cabinets with this really crisp counter, gas community, and the hardware really is beautiful. It is very warm. The backsplash is, I think, one of my all-time favorites. It's not too flashy, but it is really beautiful. It looks like just natural stone with different variations. It's absolutely beautiful and the perfect, um, the perfect backsplash to kind of tie in the cabinets and the counters. So you have a lot of space here. You can see that this is actually pre-wired for three pendant lights already. So if you want to add your own little whimsical pop of personality here into this home, you can do that. You've already got that pre-wired and ready for you. So space for your refrigerator, you have your pantry over here in the corner. And then back over here in this direction, you have your double sliders that take you out to your lanai. Now, interesting little tidbit, not all of the rear entry garage style homes from any builder. This is an MI homes, but in many cases, you don't get this opportunity. So in this case, you still have a rear entry garage, but you also have the ability to have some kind of a patio or a lanai space to sit out there. If you just uh, want to screen that in, put your grill out there, great little spot. Now back over here is your entryway from the garage. You've got another little uh, area for organization and then you also have your downstairs powder bath. So this is a two car rear entry garage style home. That is right behind me. Create a great drop zone, restroom, kitchen, lanai, dining, family room, guest bedroom with its own private bathroom on the first floor, but there's still more to see upstairs. Stay tuned. Thank you. 
So upstairs you're going to have a loft area, but you've also got the additional bedroom. So let's head back in this direction toward the end and we'll kind of work our way from the front of the home to the back of the home. So this series home is a bit more linear in nature because they're, um, they're built on a more narrow lot. So the, lo the home is going to be extended footprint wise a little bit longer. So narrow but long. So here we um, have one of the guest bedrooms or the children's bedrooms here toward the front of the home. This is a really big size bedroom for a secondary bedroom. This is huge. You have the bifold closet doors there as well. And of course you've got the cable. So here's the full bathroom that's located just outside the door. So this bathroom is going to service both of those additional kids or guest uh, bedrooms. Anyone else that might be hanging out here, having fun up in your game room. So full bath over here. Now you have a really nice wide hallway here. This is usable space. You could be really creative even with this little nook right here. I'd love to see what you would do with it. Over here is going to be an additional bedroom. All of these bedrooms really are generous in size. You know, sometimes you might think, okay, well, it's, you know, if it's more narrow and elongated, maybe those bedrooms are going to be tiny. Absolutely not the case. These are really generous sized bedrooms. Remember, this home is 2,780 square feet. This home is more square footage than the, uh, my home that we had when we were in Virginia and, and we had a more traditional front load garage. So there's a lot of square footage here in this floor plan. So over here, you see that you've got that laundry room and I love here, remember, this is the home, right? So you can look at it for the floor plan if you want to build it. But the home that I'm in is the one that's for sale. And I love that they've added the really nice upgraded flooring and they've also added the utility sink. All right, so right here is your game room, your loft, your fun zone. This is the place where everyone is going to kind of hang out and have fun. And I love that they have added the four additional recess lights. Little things like that you don't pay any attention to when you go into the model homes. But then when you build and they talk about adding recess lights, you kind of, you know, you, your, your brain starts to get a bit wonky. Yes, yes, yes. Having these additional lights and those fun gathering zones is really, really, really nice. So I'm glad that they have them in here. Kudos to you, the lucky buyer. All right, so we're going to come back here to the master bedroom. Master bedroom also very generous in size. It's, it's, it's a bit longer this direction. Gorgeous windows. And I want to point out what your view is because this, you know, people sometimes talk about, um, you know, model homes and, and showing the backyard. And remember backyards for the model homes are not typical. They're going to have really dressed those up. Sometimes they use the best lots for the model homes. Sometimes they use the worst lots for the model homes. But this particular home has a view of that gorgeous model home across the street and that amazing outdoor living space. So beautiful uh, view from behind. Tray ceiling. And again, did you notice the additional four additional recess uh, lights up there? Absolutely beautiful. You've also got huge walk-in closet and huge walk-in closet. So this has two massive master bedroom closets as well as a huge bathroom that gives you both separate his and her vanities, a freestanding tub and the frameless shower. You really get everything, including the privacy door for, for the toilet area. So you have so much here in this home. I'm just, I'm amazed that they've really packed all of this in. Now remember, this is an inventory home. So that means that a quick move in home, it just means that this home is ready. It's still brand new. It still comes with all of the benefits of new construction. Had you built it, it's still going to come with that new construction warranty from the builder. You still get to have your walk through before closing with the builder but you just don't have to wait to pick things out and to go through permitting and to actually go through the construction process so think about where you are you know what you might already live here in florida maybe you're just going to move from down the street maybe you live out of state and you're considering finding a second home or a, or a new home moving to florida this is the home that you could actually be in we're talking 30 to 45 days as long as it takes you to close on this home you could be here and enjoying beautiful sunshiny weather the warmth as you start to get colder in other parts of the country ah uh, this is where we start to thrive here in florida all right guys thank you so much for watching if you are interested in this home or in any homes please call me at 407-848-8042 remember i do not work for or represent the builders i am a realtor here working really hard showing you these homes and creating these video tours for you which gives me a really unparalleled knowledge of the builders and the floor plans here in this area so if you have found this video helpful, please do the next step. Call me or text me and let's actually start the process. Even if you're a year away or if you have to home, have a home this week, we can make it happen, but you have to call me first. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay well. Happy house hunting.